What's up everybody? It's Michael, I'm back again for my next video. We got Cody and Dalton out here still. We're out here in Southern California. It's a little uh, overcast this morning, but it's supposed to get pretty sunny, so we'll see how that goes. There's Cody, come say hey Cody. Yo, and we're back. In this video, we're about to go run over to the field. We're gonna go run some routes, um, get that on video. Cody's gonna throw up some good balls, right? we're gonna catch them and we're gonna get better today but yeah so stay tuned for that and we'll give the shout outs and answer some questions after the film I'm gonna go change we're gonna go change get ready just had breakfast we're gonna go run over to the field we're gonna get some work in so follow along actually asked a question referring back to one of my old videos when I said you want to cut off two steps and what I meant was you plant one two and you cut off of two steps when you're doing like ins or outs but those are like five step routes when you start going faster like he was asking it's harder to get obviously two steps and cut off the two steps because obviously you're moving faster so when you get faster you're going three steps try to go three steps try to go four steps whatever you can to get in and out of it in the least amount of steps and the quickest possible so if you're doing like a five yard in or a five yard out yeah two steps but if you're going maybe to a 16 yard dig or an 18 yard dig then that can be three steps or four steps or five however many you need to slow yourself down the point i was making was the least amount of steps you need to get in and out of a break the better the faster and that's the way they like it in the nfl so i hope that helps you guys get off your phone what's up everybody it's michael we're here with dalton and cody we're gonna answer some questions for you guys right now so let's start with it crunch actually asked me any tips i could give him or any advice to get bigger deltoids and shoulders and you know i kind of thought who better to ask than dalton because he's a big fitness guy so uh, dalton any advice on getting big shoulders and delts um so in terms of working out your shoulders i would say that you definitely want to make sure you hit the front and the main part of your delts as well as the rear delt my favorite exercises for those things would probably be just a regular shoulder press which you just take dumbbells and press them over your head a front raise and a lateral raise which you're just lifting the dumbbells forward like this or out to the side like that, as well as a upright row. So you're standing straight up with a barbell or a dumbbell and you're just pulling it up like straight to your chin. Those four are probably my favorite. So that's kind of my shoulder routine. They work fairly well, I guess, huh? You can say that. <laughs> All right, Cody. Isaiah Eos asks if we have any endurance tips. And I thought, who better to ask than Cody? <laughs> All right, Isaiah. Big cardio guy, me. Quarterbacks do need to be in shape. Uh, a lot of people don't think that they do because we don't run as much as the wide receiver versus the running backs or defensive players, but the last thing you want to be is the guy who is supposed to be the leader on the field, coming back into the huddle, puffing and puffing, can't get his breath because that just makes you sound like you talk a big game, but you're really not about it. So one of the um, workouts that I like to do is, it's called 300s. So basically run a lap around the field and you want to make it in around 55 seconds to a minute, something like that. Give yourself 30 to 45 seconds rest in between and then run five or six of those and then do a gas or ladder, which is down, back, down, back, just one. I do four of those. I know a lot of high school and college strength and conditioning programs do the gas reminders. So you know, 
But those two are two of my favorite cardio exercises. There you have it, from the men themselves. Appreciate it. Yeah, there you go. The first shout out I wanted to give was to King of Clutch, who commented squad, keep grinding, bro. I see you, you keep grinding too. The sky's the limit. I appreciate the support. And the second shout out I wanted to give was to the Waffle King, who commented squad. And literally, that's all you have to do if you guys want a shout out. Subscribe first, make sure your notifications are on, and then just comment squad or comment a question. And hopefully you get your question answered or you'll get a shout out. So if you want a shout out, just comment squad. That's all you have to do. Subscribe and I'll pick a random one every time. So that's all you have to do. It's very easy. If you like this video and you want to see more, make sure you throw a like to the video, subscribe to the channel. And then if you have any questions for myself, Cody or Dalton, be sure to put it in the comment and we'll pick one every video and answer them. So we're here to help you guys and we hope you guys have been able to get something out of these videos. And I hope you guys have been enjoying them. If you have a question, leave it in the comments for myself, Dalton or Cody. And if you want a shout out, just comment squad. Make sure you subscribe, throw a like, and we'll catch you next time. Rec, out. Yeah. West side, then they love the bang. Love it. Know some West side, like to do the same thing. Same. Pull up and wreck, pull up and wreck, yeah. Pull up and wreck, yeah. Pull up and wreck. Yeah.